قل هي للذين امنوا في الايات الدنيا خالصه يوم القيامه whatever you see beautiful in this world has a handsome husband beautiful wife a, be a nice car beautiful house enjoyment it is made for believers you see beautiful they give you water for free they give you water for free you see that is islam this is the beautiful of islam alhamdulillah shukran jazakumullah kasa jazakallah khairan insha allah so you see all the kids people bring their family look at here come come look at all this place all this place you see people are getting ready to enjoy you see all this place we go into the beach right there let me tell you something islam did not forbid enjoyment but you have to do it according to quran and sunnah do not go over bond you understand the point let's let me tell you let me ask you this when you come to the beach here to enjoy with your family you do you do not have right to bring your boyfriend that is haram you do not have to come here to 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 take yourself naked that is bikini that is haram you understand you do not have to come here to to seek to you with your, you and your boyfriend and all this stuff that is haram but i come here with your husband with your husband you don't see them with the husband and the children you sit that is why allah say kul hiya lil ladina amanu fil ayatu dunya ali satan yawm al qiyamah whatever you see beautiful in this world it is made for believers you understand boy so do not allah say about you they should also look at their sin if you dance islam did not prohibit dancing but what type of dancing islam did not prohibit music but what type of music where are you dancing and where are you, you dancing wearing? are you dancing with the man that is haram are you dancing by yourself it is not haram but it is not recommended as a woman we don't want to see that you understand the point but it when you dance allah cannot put you into hell fire because you dance <laughs> You understand? It is not as if what? Okay, ask anybody looking at me. If if I dance by myself or she dance by herself, what did Allah say when you dance? He will do to you. He will never. He cannot get no quotation. Everything we do, it is based on Quran and Sunnah. Your opinion do not matter as far as you don't have the what the verses of the Quran or the the, the hadith of Prophet Muhammad. You understand about it? But always just obey yourself. Try your best to do your Islam slowly. Insha Allah, Allah will protect you. Insha Allah, Salah. Islam did not prohibit enjoyment, but whenever you are enjoying, you have to do it based on the Quran and Sunnah. You see these places. This is a beach in Saudi Arabia, in Jeddah, where people will come with their family and sit and enjoy. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says, "Kul hiya lilazina amanu fil ayatu dunya ali satan yom al kiyama." Allah, I am in a Mikaya, I am Malam, I know Bia. Allah, when I create ye, was he calling here Lilla Zina Ama no fil Ayatu Dunia, Ali Satan, Yomal Kiyama. Whatever you see beautiful in this world, has a handsome husband, beautiful wife, a, be a nice car, beautiful house, enjoyment, it is made for believers. So you, as a believer, a Muslim, Allah did not stop you from enjoying this dunya. That is why when we went to the Kaaba, Wherever we, we reach Rukun al Yamani to Adal al Aswad, whatever we say, we say what? Rabbana, Atina, Fidunia, Asana, Wafil Ahirati, Asanatan, Wakina, Azabana. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, give me whatever good in this world and give me whatever good in the year after. So I'm going to take you to the beach for you to see. Yes. Alhamdulillah, ala yes, Islam. Yes, you yes. see, this is the beach. Yes. You can go to the beach and enjoy. Uh, when you go to the beach here, yeah, you can enjoy and get the beautiful breeze, mm -hmm. and the same time when the time for Maghrib, they say yeah. Allah, wa Akbar, Allah, wa Akbar, Ashhadu Allah ilaha illallah, Ashhadu anna Muhammad Rasulullah, Ayyala Salah, Ayyala Fala. Then you stop and you go to the masjid and say Allah, wa Akbar. That is all. Insha Allah. <laughs> so uh, what what are you going to say to them? Tell them. Okay. All I would like to say is, um, if not Khalifa, I wouldn't have known my rights, things I'm not supposed to do, and things I'm supposed to do. And he has really taught me a lot. Since I came to America, all my thoughts, there are places that I didn't know it exists in this world. Mm -hmm. Look at this beautiful place. I thought 
Muslims don't go to speech. Go, go. It's not Aram. <laughs> it's not Aram. <laughs> he has with the wife and the kid. It's not Aram. It's not Aram. She's she is a new Muslim. She's a celebrity in Ghana. So she converted to Islam. So sometimes people criticize, criticize when they see something. You know, Islam is not like, like that. We need people to come to Islam, not to criticize. <laughs> I'm surprised to see you here. No one listen. Let them talk. You know what? Let me tell you something. Last one. They were they 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 they, they feel very bad that Allah has blessed you. First of all, some of them who insult you, they never even bother a plane, maybe. Yeah. They never come to Mecca. You came to Mecca. Allah bless you. Sure. You know the Kaaba, right? Yeah. Prophet Abraham came there. Mm -hmm. Ismail came there. The Prophet Muhammad came there. All the Sahaba came there. And you, that is happy. So they feel very bad. Yeah. And now I am praying for them to also get the blessing. You are blessed. Oh. Um, thank you. Wallahi, you are blessed. Thank you. Not everybody can get this. Yeah. So don't allow them to discourage you. You understand the point? But don't forget your salat. Don't forget the important thing in Islam. That is the only thing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants from you. You understand the point? For them, let them do criticize. Let them insult you. Allah will bless you. Do not reply to their comment. Never ever reply to their comment. You understand the point? If you don't reply to their comment, Allah will bless you. And Allah will take their fasting, their salat on the day of Qiyamah and bless you with it. You understand the point? So Isha. You see all these places? You see? Them? You see? Uh, we are the all these places, you see, they park their car and enjoy. It is Allah. And there is a mosque. When they come for salat, they will all stop and go inside the mosque to pray. For enjoyment. Come and stay and enjoy. It is not Aram. It is not Aram. Islam did not prohibit enjoyment. Places you see all the verb they bring their family and sit here. All these are beautiful places for enjoyment. Nothing wrong according to the Quran and Sunnah. Nothing wrong. Good. Beach is they now we're in beach here. They come up here and sit and enjoy. These are all enjoyment places. Yeah, there's nothing wrong to enjoy. Nothing wrong. That is why in the Quran Allah says, Kul hiya lilla zina amanu fil ayatu dunya. Ali satan yawma. All these places are important places for you to bring your family, your kids, and enjoy. There's nothing wrong with it. Based on the Quran and Sunnah. The beautiful Jeddah. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. You see all these houses? You see how beautiful it is? So, did you compare this to our, some of our area? No. So, it's not this not That is the beautiful of Jeddah, Mecca. When you come to Jeddah, that is how it is. You see the beautiful under the tunnel? You see there? See, I'm going to show you some very beautiful places. Islam did not prohibit you for enjoyment. <laughs>
People enjoy, man. People enjoy their life. Kitab was sunnah. If you don't want to enjoy, you don't want to enjoy. You know what I mean? So it is what it is. Salam alaikum.